Hey guys, today I will show you how to launch TeamSpeak 5. Anyway, we're going to, first of all, assume that you're on Windows. You're going to go get the TeamSpeak client uh, MSI JavaScript file inside of um, the folder that we're going to show you in just a second. Go into HTML, uh, client UI, open this, and inside of this folder, just go ahead and do a search for main and you're gonna find this main JavaScript file. I recommend just deleting it. So if you just delete that main file, um, we're gonna replace what that was with this patched one. From there, you're gonna go down and find what information Cal put in, and you're just gonna simply right click, go to edit with notepad plus plus, 22091. So just go to 22091 and you should be able to find this bit right here. So login account down to here. And then I've literally just copied exactly this bit right here. And then I've just pasted this in. Save it, go ahead and close once you've saved it. You should be able to launch the client. And I'll show you in just a second that looks like this. I think it might require just a fake email. So yeah, now if you click sign in though, up at the top you've got your buttons, kind of like the normal old school TeamSpeak way of doing things. Your typical TeamSpeak settings with the appearance, you have your account settings if you're logged in. You can really quickly swap over to light mode if you want. Um, I, I prefer the dark. They've got behavior and here's your audio settings. So the, the audio settings look look pretty, like they kind of have like almost a retro feel to them, right? You can have key bindings, configure your notifications, which is kind of nice. You've got identities, which I don't have any identities, obviously because I'm offline. Privacy, you got limited and enhanced, and then about. It looks like they're really pushing. Wow, big thunderstorm, uh, nice loud thunder just hit. And I just saw the little, the brightest flash of lightning outside. Anyway, <coughs> let me hurry up and finish this before my power goes out. Um, yeah, we've just got, you've just basically got this information here and it's really simple to, uh, it's really simple to work with, but I think that they're really pushing for my team speak logins to be used. And I'm honestly not a fan of that. I liked it before when you did not require to log in with a team speak account. So now that they're really almost forcing you to have a, my team speak account, I, I don't know how people are going to react. Like, I just don't think that that's going to, um, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't think that's going to fly with people. Like the, it really seems like they're forcing you to log in with the TeamSpeak account. And that, that makes it feel a little bit more like Discord. You know, it's like, it's becoming more of like a centralized service where you have these login servers. What happens if the auth server goes offline for TeamSpeak? <laughs> wow. You know, like, yeah, may, maybe you get the offline mode, but, oh, no, I just, I, I'm, I'm definitely not sure if I'm a fan of TeamSpeak 5, but you, you go ahead and look around. You play around with it. Let me know what you think. 